Well, apparently, Sarah was pretty set on, on having me on board <laughs> when she started working on the film. So, um, she contacted me and, uh, and asked me if I wanted to uh, get involved. And um, at the time, I was, I was stuck in something else, so I, I couldn't jump right on board. But I, I, um, I really loved the, the, the script. And, um, and Sarah, of course, I, I, uh, I had known her for since, um, since I was a kid in Iceland because her, the journey to Avonlea was very popular in, in Iceland in the TV. <laughs> so, so I remembered her from, from uh, when, I was a, when I was a child and uh, so I was excited to, to get to work with her. And then, well, luckily the stars aligned with um, the, this other project that I was involved in so I could, I was able to uh, finally joined the, the project and I, I was really happy I, I did. It was so beautiful to have this dialogue with um, Sarah because she is, you know, she's so fearless in her kind of openness and, and love and, and, and just, um, um, you know, despite all the things things that she's been through in her life, she's like the way the way that she kind of opens up about them and 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 talks about them and shares her her stories, like you know, just as a as a human and as a as a woman. I just find so it's so inspiring how she approaches it because she's you know she's definitely an activist. You know, she's a feminist activist, I would say, but she approaches it from such an interesting perspective you know it's not it's not kind of forceful and, and violent like like you would some sometimes you know would would um, be my at least like musical inclination to go like heavy and 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 dark and you know more forceful but but she approaches it with such um, beauty and and optimism that I just find so wonderful and it was it was very interesting for me to um, to approach a subject like this from that. I was clear that the sound world of the, of the score wanted to be rather um, uh, folky in a way because this, this, the story happens in a kind of rural setting with no, you know, there's no technology, there's no, um, there's nothing, um, <clears throat> there's no kind of like, you know, upper class instruments that these women would have access to. I mean, they wouldn't probably even have access to any instruments, but, but but I felt like instruments that could possibly be accessible at least to this environment, if not just these, um, these women specifically, would have been something like guitars or, or something that was kind of uh, more kind of like folky and, and traditional. So so um, so I wanted to lean into that sort of instrumentation. When I do scores, I, I really feel it's important to to really like dive into the subject like very deeply and and. Um, so I, sp I spent a lot of time some, somehow like um, trying to just immerse myself in the, um, in the environment that's happening in the, in the story. And, and um, so uh, I knew that if I was going to survive living in this environment, like I would have to lean pretty heavily on, um, on the love and friendship that I experience um, through music. With, uh, with my friends. When you're writing uh, film music, it, it often helps to have like a, um, you know, a theme or something that you can connect to um, musically or uh, audibly to a person or a scenario or, or like, you know, an environment. And, and I think for this, uh, for this film, I mean, it's not, it's, it's really like a, um, a collective. Like it's, it's, I don't feel like any one character is is kind of um, you know uh, we're we're not staying like so much with one specific character. With it's more about the, the you know the collective and the and the and the situation that these women are going through together. You know, so so the theme, the main theme for the for the movie is kind of their collective theme, like the theme that um, that kind of moves them 
forward and, and, and carries them. I feel like they were so, so open and supportive of, of um, the film that, um, that Sarah was making and I, I just feel like they, you know, they gave her so much space to, uh, to tell the story in the way that she felt she needed to and, and, um, and, um, and it's not always that, um, that, you know, film production happens in that way, you know, there's, there, there can be like lots of different opinions and, and, and uh, uh, um, yeah, different kind of ideas that you have to work around, but I feel like, I feel like there was a sense of, um, uh, unity somehow in, in the way that everyone was moving in the in the same direction with with like a lot of with a lot of respect and and um, and openness the cast is just phenomenal I mean all these these uh, actors are, are just you know they, they're really phenomenal I think in this in this film and really again like the, the love and the um, the feelings that they that they put into their performances is really really moving. I think. I think emotionally, it was it was the most challenging film I think I have worked on because I I have rarely been so paralyzed by by the subject that I was that I was um, approaching because I just um, I just had a really hard time imagining anyone like you know man or woman having to go through something like this but at the same time you know it was just so wonderful to you know to to experience the, the kind of the love and the trust and, and the, the spirit you know that the great spirit that went into the, the actual filmmaking itself you know it made it really such a beautiful project to be a part of you know so it's something that i'll always i'll always cherish Thank you.